Howdy, I'm Christine Arnold, Academic Advisor in the Agricultural Leadership, Education, and Communications Department. Thank you for welcoming me into your department recently. I'm really excited to share our advising minutes with you, and today we're going to talk about how to search the course schedule so you can find an easier way to locate the courses that you need with the attributes that you need. Alright, so let's get started looking at Howdy. Now that we're in the My Record tab of Howdy, we're going to click the Search Course Schedule link and then select the semester you're looking for classes. We're going to start by looking at Summer 2013 in College Station. When you're looking for a specific type of classes, you can click Advanced Search, which then brings up a larger menu of options. This will allow you to search by term or even attribute like International and Cultural Diversity. To perform a search, you need to highlight all of the course subjects by clicking the first subject, which highlights it. Then hold down Control, Shift, and End on your keyboard. All of the course subjects should now be highlighted. The next step is to select a specific trait you are looking for. Today, we will look for a May Mester course in College Station. So we're going to select Campus College Station. And then in part of term, scroll down to May Intercession. Now that those are highlighted, let's scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Section Search. This might take a few seconds, but you should then get a list of all courses being taught in College Station during the May Intercession. Let's do another more specific search. Click the back button on your browser. All of the subjects should still be highlighted. Now select all in the part of term box. One of the last search features is attribute type. In that box, scroll down and select university required humanities. Now, while holding the control on your keyboard, Click University Requirement International and Cultural Diversity. Once you've done this, select the Class Search button or Section Search. This should bring up a list of all courses with either the Humanities or International and Cultural Diversity attributes. For our purpose, we want a class that counts as both of these requirements, so we would look for classes with both attributes listed on the right side of the screen. For example, Anthropology 205 is both a Humanities and an International and Cultural Diversity. Now we need to go back to the semester selection page. You can do this by clicking your browser's back button three times until you see the search by term screen. This time select fall 2013 and click submit. Again, click advanced search. We will then highlight all of the course subjects by clicking the first subject and holding control shift end. Next we will search by instructional method. I'm interested in taking an online course, so I will scroll to the instructional method list box until I reach web-based. Select this option, then at the bottom of the screen, click search courses. This again will take a few minutes. The list of courses will be all fall 2013 courses that are web-based. Pay careful attention to the attributes on the right side of the screen. Some of these may say distance education courses which can have a higher tuition than courses just listed as web. Most web courses also have a 599 section number, whereas most distance education courses will have a 700 to 799 section number. This will help you find the distinction between the two and know which will have a higher tuition. Another important tool at your disposal when looking for courses is the restrictions link under the title of each course. We're going to go back to the search screen Scroll back up to the top, and this time, let's look at Ag Eco 340. So just select Ag Economics, and in the course number box, type 340. We will also need to go to Instructional Method, and click All. Now you can search for this course. If you can see, the 501 and 502 sections are the exact same time, but they will have different restrictions. So if you'll select the restrictions button underneath the title in the 501 section, it's going to tell you you must be an Ag Economics or Ag Business major. If you hit the back button on your browser and select the restrictions under 502 section, you will see that you cannot be an Agricultural Business or an Ag Economics major, and you can register for this course. 
Always check the restrictions when you're planning your schedule so you can have informed choices and get the courses you need. Thanks for checking out the ALEC Advising Minutes. Come back here frequently for new topics or submit your own questions on our Facebook page.